Freetown Farm is 6.5 acres about in Columbia, Maryland. And the land, you'll see it, is broken into all kinds of different plots with different kinds of focuses. Uh, I think you'll fall in love with it, as I said. It's a wonderful place. I'm really excited to be part of that. So it's only a maybe a 15 minute drive from where I'm at. So let's go down there. I'm gonna show you just everything that's going on and then we'll walk over to the greenhouse or actually where we hope the future greenhouse is going to be. If you wanna donate, I'll put all the links in the video description. Um, and I really appreciate any kind of help that you want to give. We're also going to show the build of the greenhouse and just show the development of Freetown Farm. We really believe that if you're willing to donate, we really want to show you um, what the money's going towards, um, what your support's going towards. And again, if you're in the area and you do want to volunteer, you can go to the website. It'll talk to you about volunteering. We're going to come right up this hill and turn to the right and we'll be there. And this is Freetown Farm. Just look at this place. So this is Freetown Farm, and this is what you see when you walk in. This was painted by a volunteer. All the different space here really serves different functions, from teaching people how to have gardens in smaller homes like townhouses, to bigger fields. We'll they're get only to that. a year and a couple months old. I think their anniversary was in June. So here's a little pollinator garden, you know, and that will teach the importance of you know, bringing in bees and the pollinators to your garden. There's also some hives around here. And this space is really what a little home garden may look like. This space is still being developed. Um, a lot of food comes out of there. But it's nice hilled rows, you know, and they're young. So they're not even on their second year. And what we hope to do is really develop all these different sections that so I'm again, showing So again, we're you. in to October. And this area was where a lot of the food was produced that went out to different places. Part of that 3,000 pounds of food I was talking about. You can hear volunteers constructing and building. Um, they're painting the place up. It's really cool. So right back in here, again, we'll get to that. That's where the greenhouse is going to go. This is a kid's garden over here. I want to walk into the woods because they're doing a lot in there too. This is the, the children's garden. And again, it's finishing up, but there are pumpkins in there, all kinds of different things. They're painting it in green. You know, it's just a beautiful place. And this is the back end of the 6.5 uh, acres. And it's still being developed, but this is going to be a food forest. Let's go ahead up here because you can see they have a gathering area. Lots of stuff for kids to play on. The kitchen, the outdoor kitchen is over there. They had volunteers come in, build these benches for speaking engagements, kind of like a mini amphitheater. They have the decking down, that's gonna get covered. But this is gonna really grow into a wonderful place and I'm very, very happy to be part of it. So let's go over to the greenhouse. All right, we're gonna walk around to the back of the barn and this is what they're renovating. I think I mentioned it earlier. Um, this is gonna be, if you can see that little sign, it says forthcoming education center. Let's just start with the greenhouse. So this is the space. And again, like I said, here's the education center to be to our right. The greenhouse will be a teaching area, also a place to grow plants, to give away, um, possibly sell, um, just do all kinds of stuff. Populate the space here to feed other people. So it's the back space. Gets full sun behind me as the morning sun. The sun tracks this way, that's what you want to look for if you're putting down a garden or a greenhouse. And really starting at the pink flag over there where the bones are. And you know, it's really important to me to let you all know that this is legitimate. When you go to the website, you're going to see me holding that structure up. They're a nonprofit, they have a wonderful vision, and I hope you know you feel comfortable in donating to them. And it's going to go all the way out to here. There's the beehives over there. So that greenhouse would come all the way out to here. This is the area that's overgrown, but this has all kinds of wonderful uh, leaf, mul uh, leaf compost really under it that would be perfect for like feeding the gardens here. And it could be used in the greenhouse and maybe build something out this way, depending on how much we can raise. But it's kind of a vision in process. So I appreciate your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're able to donate in any of those capacities that I mentioned, it's greatly appreciated. And you can go to the video description and see if you want to be part of Freetown Farm. 
Thanks so much for watching. I just wanted to show you the space. I think three perfect words, imagine, create, and repair. Um, they do a lot of this uh, design and kind of murals on places, but I think these are perfect three words to kind of put towards the end of the video. Um, again, thanks for watching.